In preparation for the lesson, I made sure that the children had a good knowledge of odd and even numbers. I started the lesson by revising this. Before letting the children listen to the problem, I asked them to focus on the important information that would help them to solve the problem. After listening, I allowed the children some thinking time before recalling and answering questions about the key points. Before discussing any strategies that may be used to solve the problem, I gave the children the opportunity to explore and experiment with the problem and come up with solutions through trial and error. Through this process, the children began to realise that there may be more logical and effective approaches to solving the problem and that this may result in being able to find more or all solutions, for example starting with the lowest or highest possible number and following a pattern. After discussing various ideas about this, I encourage the children to think of methods of recording their solutions before introducing a possible format. I explained that the children would be expected to choose and organise their own equipment to solve the problem and we discussed their ideas about how familiar classroom resources may be used. The children worked in focus groups to recall and discuss the problem with adult input. During this time I made sure that the children had a good understanding of the task. I asked questions to extend their understanding of the focus skills and gave the children an opportunity to share their ideas about resources, strategies and ways of recording. I asked the children to work in pairs to solve the problem in order to encourage discussion. The children worked with their partners to organise their equipment and solve the problem. Some children were able to solve the problem mentally without using equipment. The children were encouraged to use their imaginations and develop independence by collecting and organising their own resources from the different classroom areas. They used the problem and challenge posters on display to help them recall the problem and also remind them of the focus skills. The children were then encouraged to record their solutions on a chosen format. Working with others in the classroom areas with less adult input encouraged the children to discuss and develop their ideas and skills more independently. The children worked either individually, in pairs or small groups to solve the problem in the water tray. They chose from a range of familiar resources which they had to count out and organise themselves. The children used continuous resources including number cutters and animal shapes to solve the problem in the Play-Doh area. They were also provided with plastic plates and other similar resources to choose from. The children used posters printed off from the website as cut and stick sheets. They arranged the puppies in the baskets in order to solve the problem then wrote down the corresponding numbers in the spaces above. Empty basket sheets were used alongside a range of continuous and enhanced resources, for example buttons, beads and sequins, in order to solve the problem in the craft area. In the maths area, the children chose from a wide selection of continuous resources in order to solve the problem. They were encouraged to find a number of different solutions. The children solved the problem using the computer by organising the puppies into the baskets. They were encouraged to find a number of different ways to solve the problem and to record their solutions. Following the activity, a child decided to create her own problem in the dentist role play. She used toothbrushes and pots and wrote down her problem as a challenge for other children to solve. <laughs>